Hi everybody, Lizzie here from Earn and Lou, and today I want to walk you through a few different solutions to a really common issue, which is the Canva email signature templates looking blurry when you actually put them in the template itself. So this is an email signature I've created for myself just from one of these super, super simple temp simple templates in Canva, and I've just you know changed it out to be my own font and look a little bit like my branding. I downloaded this previously exactly as it is from Canva as a PNG image, but what happened is it looks really blurry. So if I even open up the version that I downloaded, it doesn't look good, right? Like this is really, really blurry. It looks pretty unprofessional. So it looks bad as the download itself. It also looks bad when I try to put it in my Outlook or if I try to put it as an attachment within my Gmail, it just shows up like this. So I wanna show you how you can fix this if this is a problem that you're running into. So first of all, you're going to go back to your original design. And um, I always like using Canva in Google Chrome a little better. I find that it's just a little bit less glitchy. So start by going to your download settings, make sure that you have the correct design selected if you have multiple pages and right here, where it says size under the file type, I want you to swipe it as far as you can to the right. So if you're using just the standard um, Canva template, when you go up three times, it should be this big. Another way that you can do this is by hitting resize up here. You have to have a pro account to do this and keeping the dimensions locked so that nothing changes. And then you could make this, you know, however big you wanted to do. There's two options. I like doing it just within the actual design itself. So I'm going to download this. I'm going to pull this all the way up to three times the size. I don't really care about putting this on a transparent background for my email since it is, you know, black text. So I want it to stay on the white background in case somebody is reading it on dark mode on their phone so that it still looks nice and crisp on their screen. So I'm going to download this. It's going to take a second. And the file format is going to be a lot bigger than you actually want it within your email, but I'm going to show us how to fix this. So now let's start by going to Outlook and get to your email signature tab and delete whatever you have in there. Um, so blank slate. And now I'm going to go in and insert my new design. So this is the one that I just downloaded and you can always check by seeing what the um, pixels are below the design. So this is the original one that was really small. This is the larger one. I'm going to upload that in. And now you can see it's nice and crisp and clear. It also, you can tell, is a lot crisper when I just click on the design itself. I have this blown up to like my whole screen and it looks great. Okay, so we're gonna go back in to your actual signature. And unless you want your email signature to take up the whole page, <laughs> click on it with an Outlook and then you're going to shrink it down. I want mine to be about that big. Um, and then make sure that within Outlook, you have it set as, you know, the email that you're gonna be using for new message, replies, forwards, et cetera, give it a name. And then we're gonna save it up here, save. All right, so now I wanna show you what this looks like in practice. I'm going to create a new message. And there it is, it looks beautiful, but let's go a little bit extra and I'm gonna show you what this looks like if I were to open it you know, in a different email account. So I'm gonna email this to our Gmail account. I'm gonna just write testing, testing, one, two, three. I'm gonna send it over. So on my end, it looked really great within um, Outlook. Now let's go into Gmail and see what it looks like. So hit the inbox. And I always suggest, even if you're feeling like super confident about your designs, just send yourself a test just to make sure. You're gonna open it up and it looks great. It's working perfectly. You could also be hyperlinking this if you wanted to. Okay, I had to move locations because of my dog. So now I'm gonna show you how we can be doing this in Gmail. It is a little bit more complicated, but I promise it's worth it. So first you're gonna to go to Imgur, Imgur, however you say it, you're gonna go there, make sure that you have a free account and go to new post. The reason that we have to do this is because in Gmail, in Google, sometimes image attachments read as spam. So what we wanna do is house this as a public link that you can then be linking the URL to to grab the photo so that Google knows it's not spam. So we're gonna start by dropping your image here. I'm gonna pull my full size 1200 by 600 version of this image, and then you wanna give it a title. So I'm going to say 
um, earn and Lou Canva tutorial email signature. All right, and then make sure that this is shared to the community as well. If you hit just grab link, then it will not be a public link. So for it to show in your email, it's really important that it's public. So hit to community, yes, post publicly. And then once it's posted publicly, copy the link. Okay, so now we're gonna go into the settings and then hit see all settings and scroll down to your signature and I've already created this Canva tutorial signature. I'm gonna remove anything that has been attached to it and we're going to insert an image. So start by hitting insert image and then go to where it says web address URL, copy and paste it and sometimes it takes a second. Can't find the image at that URL, what? Um, if for some reason you run into this, uh, right click it, copy image address. Let's go back and see if that will work. Paste an image to the URL. Okay, that's working. We good, we good. All right, so then it'll show up. Make sure that it shows up and that it looks good. Hit select and it should shortly, there we go, populate in here. So right now it's showing 1200 by 600 pixels, which is pretty large. So I'm gonna click this and minimize it to the size that I want. You could also, you know, be selecting this and moving it around. So that looks good to me. I do, however, want to make sure that this says book a call with me below or today. <laughs> Underneath this, you could add any text you want. You don't have to. This is just an additional example. Make sure that it's saved to an actual signature. And then to make sure that it's showing up, you want to click into your signatures down here. Okay, so once you have it set up as your default signature, once this is in here, everything looks good. Scroll all the way down to save changes. Hit compose and there you go. It's right there. It shows up perfectly and it's going to show up every time because it is linked to a public um, image address. I know it's a little bit more work, but this ensures that you will never have um, like a weird image placeholder or just a blank white box within your email signature. I hope that that helped. I think that Canva is a really great option to have some really, really cool branding of your own. Um, and good luck. Let us know if you have questions. Our website is packed with a ton of different Canva and brand strategy resources for businesses of all sizes.